in this demonstration i'm going to show you how to set up an extract and a pump through which we would capture change records from the source and send it across to the target the first thing that i'm going to do here is to set up an extract the extract is going to run on the america database and is going to create a trail file and there will be a pump that will be created on the america setup which will send it across to the euro database so the first thing is to set up a parameter so i will call this extract as extract west which will basically extract from the database so the first parameter we will set is extract name which is ext west you need to ensure that the parameter name and the extract name match then specify the trail location as a local location so so the extract trail file name is given as ew and you will see that once we start the extract it will be ew with followed by a numeric suffix the password and user id through which the golden gate user can log in is specified next and the list of tables i want to replicate is all tables under the west schema and please do note the semicolon i have given which controls whenever you give source table or target table mappings you need to ensure you give a semicolon the next parameter i'm going to set is with respect to reporting wherein whenever the process starts do i want the statistics about the report should be reset or not so the stats option is specified by the parameter stat options for which i'm going to set reset report stats which means whenever the new report file is created whenever the process stops and starts i will create a new report file which will give the statistics of how the extract process was created then also i want to have a parameter which says give me at the end of every day what is the cumulative runtime statistics for the day for which i am going to specify a parameter report at 0001 which means post midnight at the end of first minute every day it will give me since the previous day that is 0001 am what is the cumulative statistics about the total operations performed by the extract and the next parameter i'm going to specify is to roll over so that the report will create a new file for every day so the idea is every day create a new file and report statistics so i will say report roll over at 00 colon 01 so every day in the night i will get a new report file which has information about how the extract has been running and i also want to have a count of the number of transactions to be reported every 60 seconds which means it is going to give me rate at which transactions are happening every 60 seconds into the report file which will be under the directory report directory and the idea behind that is every 60 seconds it will give me only the rate at which transactions were performed for that 60 seconds and the parameter for that is report count and i will specify every 60 seconds and what i want is the rate at which the transactions are performed within the extract so with that we have added some options with respect to what should be reported in the report file we will save the parameter file so we have created a parameter file for an extract called ext west the next task for us is to create the extract for which we need to use the command add extract and specify the name of the extract followed by from where will this extract pick up information so the idea behind this extract is to pick up from the transaction logs or the read log so i will say the source is tran log and begin now so by specifying this command i have created an extract and it has specified that this extract has been registered with the database as of that particular scn for every extract there is an additional command to be mentioned to specify the trail location so we will specify add 
EXT trail. The location for the trail is going to be in Dirdat EXT West. So I will give the extension EW and the extract name should be mentioned. So the extract name is extract EXT West and megabytes is an optional command through which I'm specifying each trail file will be at a maximum of 50 MB. So with that we have created the trail file that will be used by the extract and we have created the extract and the extract is ready to be started. What we will do also is to create a pump process because we have mentioned that the extract is going to write a local trail we will create a pump which will write to the remote host. The idea behind setting a pump is to read from this trail and pump it to the remote host. So what I am going to do here is we have two Golden Gate installations, one is America Golden Gate and the other is the Euro Golden Gate. Both have separate manager process. So though we have only one single computer in which everything is running, we will simulate as if the 15,000 port is one host and the 15,001 port is another host. We will create a parameter for pump west, which means pumping from the west. And I'm just using a naming convention in caps. It is not mandatory that the parameters have to be in caps. It is just to ensure the naming convention so that it's easier to read. And I will say remote host is local host or I can give the host name or the IP address and specify the manager port as 15001. And I can optionally specify whether the network traffic should be compressed and sent across. The idea behind specifying compress will result in lesser network traffic but there will be an overhead of CPU cycle on the source and the target to compress and decompress. Also what we need to specify is what is the location in which the trail will be written and since we are pumping it across to a remote host the trail will be a remote trail and I am specifying directory that as pump east so PE is the two character extension for the file. I am specifying pass through meaning no transformations are done in the pump so the data in the trail will be directly written into the target trail. I could specifically mention any filters but right now I am going to take all the data from the source and specify the semicolon at the end of the table mapping and which is exactly what I have done. With that this parameter is taken care so we have created a pump using a parameter file. The next task is to add the extract. So what we will do is add extract pump west. X trail is source meaning the source of this extract is to read from the trail created by the extract west. So the source is dot dir dat in the local machine ew extension files. So add extract p west x trail source is dot dir dat ew so it is mentioning there is a problem let me see add extract ext trail sorse i have missed this extra t over here that's the mistake dir dat ew and the extract has been added and we also have to add the remote trail dot dir dat pump east and specify to which extract this is going to be part of and here also I shall specify megabytes 50 which means whenever 50 MB of data has been processed a new trail file will be created with the PE extension and the next step for us is to go and start both the extract and the pump so the command is start extract ext west extract west I can go and see info er star which says that the extract ext west is started while the extract pump west has not yet started because we have not yet started it. So the next command could be start extract pump west and info er start tells me there is an abandoned state. So to understand what has caused this abend to happen the easiest thing to do is to go and browse through that location report which says there is no route to the host. So let me go and ping. Oh, I'm sorry. It is not one. It is 1.240. So I have made a mistake with respect to the IP address. So let's go and edit params pump west. And we see that I have given the wrong. I save it. 
So whenever you have a problem, you would see that the status is amended and you can go and look into the report file to see what caused the process to amend and that's precisely what I did. You should be able to troubleshoot doing this. Now let me go and say start extract pump west and go and see info er star and now you see that both the extracts are running you could keep checking on info er to see all the extracts or info ext west which will tell you the if you know the exact process or info p west will give you the status of this right now no transactions are occurring so you see that the redo byte address is the same the moment we start doing transactions in these databases then we will start seeing movement in this coming up through which we can realize that the trail files are being written to so with that we come to the conclusion of the first step of our golden gate replication configuration where we have ensured that the extract and pump on the source database have been completed right now we have configured change capture then we have to configure initial load and finally configure change delivery